welcome back to Fairview Farm. It is the 10th of June and I am headed out to uh, our fields here. The ones that I uh, got bailed up last time. Uh, I've already got the 7610 up here. And uh, we've got to clear this field off because as you can see, the grass has started to regrow. And we need to give it a good dose of slurry to make sure that uh, it grows to its full potential. I just need a little bit of nitrogen on here. So uh, I need to clear off these bales today. And we're going to be doing that with our David Brown here. And this, uh, this should keep our cows fed for a good little while. Uh, having all of these bales. Uh, as we, uh, as I said uh, in my last vlog... Uh, I uh, basically, we tried using the pellets. We, we had a couple of pallets of those on the farm and uh, we really didn't get on with them. The way we're set up, uh, it was quite a, a problem to get the right amount of pellets into our mixture. Whereas we know that an entire hay bale here is absolutely perfect for what we're doing. So what I need to do is uh, reposition myself on these bales. These two bales are not close enough to go on this trailer. So I'm going to back myself out, line myself up on the middle of my tractor. Like that. And then we'll rearrange ourselves the other way and just hope that I can get this bale in at the same angle. The problem I had just then, and you might have seen it, is the front of the tractor raised as I was uh, going into that bale. So I'm going to come out of it because I think I had my uh, front up too high. And this is the thing about these older tractors. These are not self-writing front loaders. So uh, you end up if you're not careful with it pointing a direction you're not expecting it to. So that one in there, that one in there. Oh, wow. Nope, that is no good to me whatsoever. It's, it's quite interesting sometimes trying to balance these things and get these, uh, get these pieces of equipment the right way around. You see, that is at one hell of an angle. In fact, I think my best bet is probably to skip around the side here with the angle that that's actually on my fork and uh, and just put that on there on its own. Yeah, like so. That'll make things easier. And then we'll do the same here. Grab this one. That was nice and flat as well. And then we can get these right beside each other and uh, be in a position to properly stack things later. So in, back it out a little bit. Getting, uh, getting precise positions early on is really important for getting a good stack on this trailer. And this is why actually this tractor, I'm gonna turn the 7610 off actually, I left it running. Uh, that is why, uh, this, uh, having this tractor up here on the relatively flat land at the top of the field uh, is the better way to go with it uh, because it means that we are able to very easily stack our bales on the trailer and not end up with uh, bales rolling all over it. I, I don't want to strap stuff down until I have to because pulling the straps back out is a, is a real pain when you want to re-strap it. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll strap it on once we feel like we're in the right position. And yeah, those are now pointing downwards. So that there should be about the right place and then spin it around here and we'll try and get this as close as possible oh i must have nudged the bale as i got close to it then yeah this one i think wants to roll into it so careful yeah 
cannot see the point at which this bale is getting into the other one and we just seem to be nudging it ever so slightly as we go in position again hillside's always fun for this kind of thing right and make sure this bale is as light as it can be and then forwards go for it go for it go for it there we are not the best bit of stacking uh onto here but uh, at least we can push them on like that. And that's better. Right. So these two should go on the trailer a little bit better than the last two. And I think that's about got it. Let's reverse out. Yeah, that needs just pushing on a little bit just to even things out. So I'll just angle that down. Rather than getting it back on the uh, actual box, we're much better off just pushing it on and... Good positioning on this side. Uh, good positioning on that side. I'm happy. Let's uh, get these strapped down. And I think my best bet is to unstrap this one. And yeah, then we'll be able to get straps over the top very easily. I might have to unstrap this side once we, uh, we strap onto the top of there. But uh, either way, we should be able to pull those straps out without too much hassle. So let's uh, head back out and continue clearing up the far end of the field the first time i loaded up this trailer i learned the hard way that there isn't really enough space for five bales on this bottom row uh the bales got very very uh, predictive when i tried to do that so uh we're not going to try and do that this time we are going to try and put a uh, a single bale at the back uh we do have space to put one there uh but uh that it won't fit all the way down to the bottom here so we're just going to put one on the top uh, and in fact we have a really good candidate for a single bale to sort of have space at the back there and uh that is this one up here this is slightly larger than the other bales on the field this is a 150 centimeter bale uh, i was trying things out with our new baler and uh did a slightly larger bale uh unfortunately again it holds about the same amount as one of those uh pallets of uh the pellets that we had so yeah it's it's not a great bale for us to have in the far on the farm in general will work out fairly well for us later on i think if we if we need a bale suddenly but for now, it will uh, do us a nice little uh, spacer at the back there. We can get it strapped down. And uh, yeah, I think what we need to do is alter this trailer and remove this back plate. I'll be able to, to actually fit all the bales uh, on if I do it that way. Uh, and as it stands at the moment, we've got uh, three more bales down that side of the field. Maybe one or uh, two up that way. And we've got a few on the other field over. In fact, no, we've got five more bales down this way. So, yeah, there's still a lot of bales to collect up. And uh, I don't think we're going to fit them all on this trailer, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think that uh, we might have slightly more bales on this field than we're going to be able to uh, get off in this trailer load. Reverse, and then we can strap this down. So uh, we've got... Yeah, pull those straps out and get them strapped on properly. Uh, we've got three bales over here we've got one there two there three there that is enough to fill the other side and then just over this ridge here we've got another two which i don't think i can fit on the front here i don't, I don't really want to balance it on there especially when we've got uh one two three we've only got three bales in here um, but we can't fit all of those bales on this trailer so uh i'm just going to collect up the remainder we've got round here and, uh, and then we'll have to come back and uh, yeah it'll be a much smaller trailer the second one i'm just wondering i can fit if i take that big bale back i can fit two more on there yeah that still leaves me with three on the field so there's there's no way i can do it 
Uh, we'll grab the last three and then we'll come back and then we'll uh, we'll grab remaining far uh, remaining four or five that we've still have on the field after that final one to get on the trailer for this load carefully down uh, is there ever so slight uh lean on this towards uh towards the downhill yeah we'll uh we'll turn off the uh david brown we'll leave that up here and i'm gonna get oh no i need to get i need to get both of these actually back to the farm because we've got to unload all these bales so a uh, little bit of a convoy little 7610 is struggling on the road here to get this uh, pile of bales back to the yard it's uh, not overly happy climbing the hill uh, but it's not doing too bad yeah we've got it just need to drop down a couple of gears to make sure that we could make it in and uh, one of the nice things about the new uh, area we've got up here and the new barn we've got up here is together with this top pad we are very able to unload trailers like this we can uh, just put this tractor around here avoid the uh, end of the barn straighten things up and then if we reverse this up here we get a nice flat space for our trailer to sit uh, turn this off put the handbrake on and we're in a very good position to get these unloaded and into the barn so uh, let's take off the uh, straps yeah and then we can start lifting these off very carefully the last thing i want to do is send any of these flying down the hill uh, that would be a very very bad thing and would just cause us all sorts of problems so slowly in nice flat uh set up lift up and then carefully reverse off and if we can do the whole thing like that that would be very nice uh, oh, but we've got a little bit of an odd setup uh, immediately with our hay bales. So I'm going to have to put one down and then uh, put the second one stacked on the back behind it. I think this is probably going to fill up the space that we've got for these hay bales, uh, which is quite interesting. We'll have a uh, we'll have a good stack of these in here. But I think our straw bales might be in the way. And of course, we're not going to be refilling those until next month. I might have to go and uh, restack those ahead of the harvest. Well, might have to restack those today just to get the other hay bales stacked. Uh, we don't have a lot of space available to us. So in order to make space for the rest of the hay bales, I've started to move the straw bales along into the center section. So we'll have a, a main section here for the uh, hay bales. We'll then have a main section for the straw bales. I think I might need to restack everything. Uh, we, have, we have a little bit of an issue with then getting bales stacked along sort of the middle section of this. So uh, if we start shortening this up a bit and restacking things a bit, we might be in a better position. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what happens when uh, you start stacking when you haven't got a huge amount of bales and then you come later to refill your barn and uh, and you need to get that extra little bit of space. There we go, a little bit of careful restacking and uh, we can actually go up a whole nother level. I don't think I can get one more on top, uh, but that now should give us absolutely plenty of space uh, to get all of our bales in there. 
I'm grab this one off the top. And so we're doing the uh, normal stacking system that I have. Uh, I am putting a row down in front. Then we do uh, a row above and then a uh, and then a, a row on the one behind. Uh, we can just about reach it if we do it that way with these. Um, but it's uh, it's also a little bit risky. That's why I can't do three rows out. If I had a telehandler on the farm, we could. We could do three rows out, but uh, we're having to do it the slightly dodgier way. But it'll work fine. Uh, I've uh, I've not seen any stability issues so far, so uh, we'll uh, we'll be okay getting these unloaded. So I'm going to unload the rest of these, and then we'll head back to the field and get the rest collected up. Just going to take the larger one off the top and put it to the side for now. We'll uh, we'll find a place for that once we've got everything else stacked. Uh, but if I take any more bales off the trailer, it's going to start becoming unstable. So we want to get that out of the way. And that will then allow me to continue to get bales off here carefully. Making sure that I don't knock any off the other side. And yeah, look at that. That has all come together very nicely. In fact, we should be able to grab the end bale off the trailer and uh, and stack that on the end here and uh, make things easier for ourselves overall so let's just grab one bale off this time and then get that on the end we'll have to switch sides of the uh, um, manure fork that it's sitting on so uh, let's get on that side instead there we go. Oh, this stack is coming together nicely. Last of the regular size bales. And we're going to put this on the top. We've got five more bales. So that should be uh, one on the top and four down the bottom. And create a fairly decent stack for us. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. That should keep us going with the cows for a good while. So it seems I miscounted. We've actually got six bales still up here. So uh, we'll get them all on the trailer easily. But uh, yeah, it means that I'm going to have a one bale stacked separately. Uh, which I was not expecting, to be honest. Let's uh, get those onto there. We can strap those down now. In fact, we can strap all of those down now. And uh, just two more bales to grab. And that's this job done. And that means my fields are clear. I'll be able to get out here uh, in the next few days, get some slurry on these fields, and uh, get things ready for cutting in. Uh, well, I suspect it'll be the end of... July, early August. So, uh, yeah, really good. Absolutely uh, fantastic that we'll be able to get this done. Uh, and, of course, that is going to be after the harvest. And the harvest is the big thing. We're going to see if all the changes and everything we've done over this year have led to a better harvest for us. And, uh, and see if we make more of that this year than we did last year because it was a very disappointing harvest last year uh, but that will that will also mark a full year here on the farm uh, which is the year that i wanted to show you guys the updates and changes we were making so uh, i am going to be getting uh, the harvest done and uh, and we'll review and have a look at the farm at that point because how successful have I been in uh, rebuilding the farm and making it, well, modernizing it and making it work better? Back up at the yard and we'll get these unloaded, uh, nicely stacked up the top here. This is, uh, this is a nice stack. I'm very pleased with how this has gone today. 
Sometimes they're a little bit unstable. Sometimes they stack up nicely. And uh, and today, they seem to be stacking up nicely for me. Of course, I'm saying this while I still have another five... Well, another six bales to add to this. So, uh, it could still all go very horribly wrong. And, uh, in fact, I'm I'm breaking my own stacking rules with how I've stacked that. What I really wanted to do was put another row down in front first. Uh, but we're, we're fine. That's gone on there okay. And now we've got a, a simpler thing of getting that row down in front. And I've managed to keep those bales from disappearing over the edge. That is that is my, or was my biggest worry doing this. Was I was going to push some bales into the field. And they were just going to roll off into the hedge at the bottom of the field. And I was going to end up just chasing bales. Uh, now, though, we've got just three more to get on here, plus the big one. We'll get the big one off to the side. Uh, but all in all, that's been uh, a pretty successful day getting this done. I am going to remove that rear ladder off the trailer. It doesn't help me. Uh, we would have got more bales on the trailer today. Uh, what we've got uh, one on the bottom row yeah we'd have got we'd have got at least four more bales on the trailer and as we only had six more we'd have probably fit everything on the trailer today had uh, had we not had that rear ladder so yeah i think that's uh, that's beginning to hamper things a little bit that end bale is a long way out i'm just gonna come here and you can sometimes you can shove bales onto there there we go shove this one up too perfect that is looking brilliant i think i heard my mobile phone just go off we'll uh, we'll ignore that for now we'll be fine and one last fail to get done off the trailer that's everything got Brilliant. I'm very happy with that. I'd like to try and get this trailer actually into this shed as well. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to get this one onto here. And then we'll have to get the larger one. Might take the larger one and sell it. Because as I said, it's not a huge amount of use to me. Unfortunately, they can't convert round bales into... Uh, into the pellets down at the, uh, the, the, the pellet factory. So... I'll just leave this just inside the shed here, but we uh, we might take this down. And uh, I think that the animal market might quite like that. So uh, I might get that sold down there. But all in all, that has been a pretty successful day getting those fields cleared. And uh, we are now ready to get some slurry on these fields. So I'm going to get that done in the next few days. Uh, but um, I think my next vlog is probably going to be the harvest and seeing how we've done in this year. But now I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.